Hey guys, just a quick video here. Um, I want to show you a couple things that I got. Uh, one is um, I got tired of getting water spots in my car if I don't dry it off. I mean, back in the old days, I used to just spray my car and, and go. Uh, I don't remember water spots. I suppose I got some, but they weren't as bad as they are now. Our water's pretty, pretty bad. Um, <clears throat> and also, like in the morning, you know, you get dew or rain on the car. If it dries, there might be spots, but they're usually not that bad. But if you wash your car and you don't dry it, oh my God, it's horrible. Um, so I had one of these before. This is a little $10 water filter. I bought these a pair and uh, from Amazon, 20 bucks. And <clears throat> these ones don't have any lead in. So I, I got a little lead in hose here for eight bucks. But I'm gonna put this in line and uh, see how that works. Um, also got these. These are called the Wheel Woolies. I got these from Adams. Adams. Adam polishes. But uh yeah, these were like 39 bucks. Um I thought that was kind of a lot to clean my rims, but they're wool. Um I have a brush type, but when you pull it back through, it uh it tends to spray the the soap and crap all over you. So anyway, I got this. We're going to give it a try. This is supposed to fit behind the brake caliper. And I'm supposed to be able to get the whole barrel. That's the whole point to these. They're already pre-bent. So you're supposed to be able to, you know, put it in at an angle. And then be able to clean the barrel behind, uh, behind the rim. So I'm going to give that a try. Look at that dirty water. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna rinse these things off first. Get them wet. Look at that water. Even the back ones. All right, guys. I'm gonna try this on the uh, passenger side, the right side of the vehicle. This is the McGuire's. Can't okay, use the wheel wheelies this time. You guys saw what happened last time. Didn't wipe it off. My wife says, Oh, I used a lot. Well, last time I was trying to do it without touching it. Oh, let's see. And I know it'll mix a little bit. Alright, so that's the McGuire's. This is the chemical guys Diablo. Stuff smells like bubble gum. I'm gonna wait about the sprayer doesn't work too good either. You know, they they make their bottles, everybody does this, so you can't you reuse them or can't refill them. And then, they, and then they sell you a new one. Couldn't believe that. Anyway, I've got extra spray bottles, but I bought this one just because I was there. Anyway, um, so I'm going to let this sit for about five minutes, and then I'm going to try these brushes. This is my old one. As I would pull this out from the rim, it would uh, fling. And I'm using my little bucket. These are the new ones. Real woolies. See how good these work. The little one, I'm supposed to be able to get this behind the brake caliper. So let's see if it'll fit on these six piston calipers. All right, we're going to try this guy. Pretty heavy one. I want to do it. So, yeah, I can't get behind, can't get behind the brake caliper with it. Not on the big one. Try the little one in a minute. Holy moly, look at this. Oh, it's a gray tarry mess. Watch 
trying to dunk this. Holy mackerel. Let's see if this will go behind the brakes. Yeah, it does. So the little, little foot does go behind the brake calibers on these. I'm going to use my regular brush here on the rims and the front faces. All right, see you in a minute. All right, this one I'm, is the back one. I'm going to try doing the front of it first and then use the wheel woolies. I hate doing rims. I don't mind doing the tires, though. I like the shine of the tires and stuff, but... This, this one doesn't hold the water too good into the brush. I'm curious on how this is going to compare to the chemical guys. All right, let me get the wheel woolly. That water is so dirty. Probably should do the rear ones first. Front ones are so nasty. So here's the thing about that I immediately noticed about this is the plastic bends. It's okay, but you get the water and stuff on it, and some of the it's fraying a bit too. Not sure why that is. Yeah, stuff's coming off. This is the first time I used it, so. You know, I don't have to worry about the back brakes. Back brakes, this thing will go all the way around behind the caliper and all. Alright, let me rinse these two before I do the other side. Well, I missed a few spots off to hit that with a rag, but it's looking pretty good. Look at how left those marks on the brake pad, on the brake discs. That's kind of weird. Again, this is the Meguiar's. I, I gotta laugh because I always thought my rims were black, right? I thought they were black. Look, I haven't wiped this one down yet. But no, they're not. They're actually like a gunmetal gray. <laughs> <laughs> These rims are gray, they're not black. They were black. <laughs> they're black when you don't clean them. Holy moly. Alright, chemical guys on this side, let's go. The next time I do this, I think I'm going to bring my tripod out here. I'm sure it would be a lot easier. Okay, so this is the chemical guys. Didn't leave any marks on the rims, but this was starting to dry up on me. It just took me a while to wipe these things down. Yeah, actually, I missed a spot here. But, uh, also looks pretty good. Gunmetal gray, how about that? All right, I'm gonna wipe this with some spray wax stuff. And uh, so, yeah, also I missed a few spots still. <clears throat> but the consensus is this thing works. But it's um, just a little bit flimsy. That's my only concern. Um, the little one is great for getting behind the calipers. I don't know if you would wanna do the whole wheel with it. So I think you should get the twofer. And uh, I really think they need to make those those support sticks a little stronger. All right, let me finish up here and uh, get back in a minute. So yeah, pretty interesting. My rims are not black; they're not gray. They're like a kind of like a gunmetal gray. I don't know if you can see that color. I put uh, Blue Guard 2 
chemical guys on the tires. I use uh, what's that stuff called? The sprit sealant on the rims. Wolfgang. Oh, yeah, I get some of that sealant stuff. Kind of like the V07 that I used last time. And the chemical glass, as you can see, it doesn't make the tires shiny, it just makes them black. But uh, I gotta do something about this dirty water because of how I'm gonna clean those bristles, those brushes. And so far, so good. All right. Oh, I'm just gonna dip my brakes then. Discs, they're kind of orangey looking. Huh, interesting. Just a little update. Cleaning these brushes weren't as bad as I thought. I just kind of held one of them up in front of the hose, sprayed it, and pretty much all came off. So, not bad. Just uh, again, I wish the sticks were a little bit stronger, but I mean, they work. You can deal with it. It's just that when this thing gets real heavy with the soap and water, they're a little bit bendy. <laughs> I mean, they come back in the shape, they don't stay bent, but you know, you know what I mean. All right. All right, guys, so just uh, an update on that. I got to tell you, though, um, <laughs> when I used to wash my wheels, it was just like the faces. I never worried about the barrel or anything like that. I just did the vertical and the front and the back was just dark. You couldn't really tell. But um, I, don't know, I did the whole thing and they look really good. You can actually see in there and it just came out really good. If I had to choose between the two, I think the uh, Meguiar's did a little bit nicer job than the Chemical guys. But I mean, it is what it is. They both they both work pretty good. Uh, also interesting to know that when I sprayed it down and left this orangey stuff, I think I had a little bit of brake dust on my on my rims. But um, I don't know. I think that's probably what that was. Uh, not brake dust. Um, a little bit of rust because I hadn't driven the car for a little bit. So I think that's what that was. Anyway, again, if I sound winded, it's uh, that's my heart condition, All right? So I got a messed up heart. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, anything to make the job easier, right? But there's no there's no easy thing. You can't just spray these things down and pressure wash it. It's uh, it's always gonna leave dirt. It's like when you go to those car washes that don't really scrub. Looks pretty clean. It's just the lightest shade of dirt.